Python package known as Folium. It's uh, actually helps in visualizing with the help of Leaflet.js to visualize partial data. That data that comprises of latitudes and longitudes, uh, uh, J, JSON and everything. Installation is direct via pip. And once you are within, boom, you can work out, you can work around it. So with that, uh, first I started by creating something uh, with it. So first things first, I'll show you what I did with it. I came and uh, I had to search of various coordinates of which I went directly to GeoJSON. So from here you can actually see I got various uh, data points that are within for jQuart. So with that, I I started by getting a a quadro a quadro shape for just a minute a quadro shape for the Juja location, and then I took part of uh, locations, and uh, you can actually map it directly. They had like jQuart swimming pool, botanical gardens, and uh, administration block. And actually, when you see by default, is usually a blue marker. But I've actually used various marker like this icon indicating it's a garden. That's why now you see a leaflet. So one way is getting a data through GeoJSON. I can come here and actually look for, let me say I want to draw that quadratic shape. I might not be perfect, but when I come to draw that way, that, I can say that way and then fin finalize it on it here. So when I come actually here, I'm getting every details of what I want. So this is what I, ha I had to do uh, to achieve uh, this. And then I had to pinpoint various lat long of locations within jQuad directly from JSON. Like I can say I want this jQuad field. So I, I did it manually to interact with it. Then while working on it, I realized about uh, a visualization grammar is is like adding more soup into Folium. So this this is like an extension for Folium, which helps actually bringing about maps, uh, graphs inside maps. That's why you have various examples. So with it, there's a JSON file of which I downloaded, and I can say I don't know what actually the source of the file or what it actually means. So I played around with it just to know to know it. After downloading from site, what I actually did, I came here and uh, did something on it. I came and installed it and maybe from one icon I was given, when you click, you can actually see this like a various hits you can actually use various graphical about a particular place let's say now it's example a particular county you're seeing the the number of youths probably those unemployed and everything you can actually have closer things with that uh then finally i came and and sought now for data to try to work around something so i went to one of our sites it's called energy energy energy.com then I found out this Kenya grid JSON. This is a data set that indicates various uh, electric grids, how it has passed to various places. So I came and visualized it. And uh, from my visualization, I got some interesting things. One thing that I received is like, this is actually how the grid lines are moving. This is a uh, right, let's say, from the far part of Nairobi within the Indian Ocean going direct to Marawal. This is in the far far north part of Kit, uh, Kitale Eldoret as you go further uh, based on the data that I had so I, I came here to visualize it was a uh, direct I, I just came around and also worked with Folium how Folium work is I came created uh, first I wanted to create a coordinate map but I came and directly just created a map box bright uh, and then you actually define, you bring the file. This is actually a folder that contains the file. This is, the, and then this is the file name. Uh, this is now where I start. I want now start of my map. This is uh, within Nairobi near KCC. Zoom start at two. Then this is the type of data I'm working with your JSON. And then this usually say that it creates a file known as this one. 
and directly this is one great of thing that folium does actually does like this library here is doing nothing this i can bring os is a default package that brings about issues with path because when i reference this directly i can work with the way i want so another thing that i've able to achieve with them is like this is now like visualizing of this data within juja that i had uh, i created with it a quadratic points that i showed earlier on the map you can actually try this library with special today i've learned about a good python package known as folium it uh, actually helps in visualizing with the help of leaflet.js to visualize partial data that data that comprises of latitudes and longitudes uh, uh, j json and everything installation is direct via pip and once you are within boom you can work out you can work around it so with that uh, first i started by creating something uh with it so first things first i'll show you what i did with it i came and uh, i had to search of various coordinates of which i went directly to geojson so from here you can actually see i got various uh data points that are within for jquet so with that i i started by getting a a quadro a quadro shape for just a minute a quadro shape for the juja location and then i took part of uh, locations and uh, you can actually map it directly they were like jquet swimming pool botanical gardens and uh, administration block and actually when you see by default is usually a blue marker but i've actually used various marker like this icon indicating it's a garden that's why now you see a leaflet so one way is getting a data through geojson i can come here and actually look for let me say i want to draw that quadratic shape i might not be perfect but when i come to draw that way that you can say that way and then fin finalize it on it here so when i come actually here i'm getting every details of what i want so this is what i, ha I had to do uh to achieve uh, this and then i had to pinpoint various lat long of locations within jquad directly from json like i can say i want this jquad field so i i did it manually to interact with it then while working on it i realized about a uh, uh, visualization grammar is is like adding more soup into folium so this this is like an extension for folium which helps actually bringing about maps uh graphs inside maps that's why you have various examples so with it there's a json file of which i downloaded and i can say i don't know the, what actually the source of the file or what it actually means so i played around with it just to know to know it after downloading from site what i actually did i came here and i uh, did something on it i came and installed it and maybe from one icon was given when you click you can actually see this like a uh, various hits you can actually use various graphical about a particular place let's say now it's example a particular county you're seeing the the number of youths probably those unemployed and everything you can actually have closer things with that uh then finally i came and and sought now for data to try to work around something so i went to one of our sites it's called energy energy energy.com then i found out this kenya grid json this is a data set that indicates various uh, electric grids how it has passed to various places so i came and visualized it and uh, from my visualization i got some interesting things one thing that i received is like this is actually how the grid lines are moving this is a uh, right let's say from the far part of nairobi within the indian ocean going direct to Mararal. this is in the far far north part of Kit, uh, Kitale Eldoret as you go further uh, based on the data that I had so I, I came here to visualize 
it was a direct I, I just came around and also worked with folium how folium work is I came created a, first I wanted to create a credit map but I came and directly just created a map box bright uh, and then you actually define you bring the file this is actually a folder that contains the file this is the, and then this is the file name uh, this is now where I start I want now start of my map this is uh, within Nairobi near KCC zoom start at 2 then this is the type of data I'm working with JSON and then this usually say that it creates a file known as this one and directly this is one great of thing that folium does actually does like this library here is doing nothing this I can bring OS is a default package that brings about issues with path because when I reference this directly I can work with the way I want so another thing that I've able to achieve with them is like this is now like visualizing of this data within Juja that I had uh, I created with it a quadratic points that I showed earlier on the map you can actually try this library with spatial data and we 